Hi and welcome to episode one of the Innsmouth Gold video blog. As this is the first episode I thought I'd introduce myself and Innsmouth Gold, tell you a little bit about what we do and also discuss some of the things we have planned for the video blog coming up in the future. So my name's Rob Poynton, I'm 50 something, I don't know how that happened. At the risk of sounding like uh, Garth Marenghi, I'm a musician, a writer and a martial arts instructor. I've been interested in horror film and fiction for a long time. I guess like many people in my generation, I grew up in the 60s and 70s with Hammer Horror and all those old classic films. Uh, in the early 70s, my dad brought home this book, Conan the Adventurer, one of the uh, series of 70s paperbacks with the great Frazetta covers, of course. He read it and I read it and I've been hooked on Robert E. Howard ever since. On the uh, back of this and on the inside, there were quotes from a guy called H.P. Lovecraft. And I remember being in the library one day as a, a teenager, about 12 or 13, and seeing a Lovecraft book on the shelves, The Outsider and Other Tales. And that's what got me started with Lovecraft. From there, of course, I've gone on to read all the pulp uh, classics, Clark Ashton Smith, uh, Frank Belknap Long, and then got into things like Fritz Leiber, Tolkien, of course, and all the rest. So I've had a long time interest in fantasy, horror, science fiction to, to some extent, uh, but especially the Lovecraft mythos and Robert E. Howard. So the idea initially with Innsmouth Gold was to mix that interest in Lovecraft and the, the Cthulhu mythos with my interest in music. And what I started doing was working on some soundscapes that were in effect uh, like a, a musical background to some of Lovecraft's most well-known stories. So these would include music, sound effects, uh, chanting in a lot of places, that sort of thing. Now they worked out quite well, so what I've done since then is actually put out three CDs. Uh, two of them are Lovecraftian, there's Ritual and Dream, and Illustrations of Madness, which also has a touch of Poe in there. There's a track called The Telltale Heart. And more recently I put out an album called Samaria, which is based on the works of Robert E. Howard, so Conan, Solomon Kane, Bram Macmore, and so on. And what these basically are, in some cases they're spoken word poetry set to music, in some cases they are what we've said is an actual recording of a real ritual, for example the New Orleans Swamp ritual on Ritual Dream, and sometimes they're just like a, a background to the story. So you can read the story, listen to the music, and hopefully the two fit together. Uh, so you could listen to those in their own right, you can use them as background music for gaming, or you can just freak your neighbours out with them, whatever you want to do. So that was how we formed Innsmouth Gold. Those uh, albums I spoke of are available on download, you can get them on MP3 download at our shop, the link will be below. They're also available on a dual case CD, uh, quite nice package there, or if you want something quick and a little bit cheaper, then we just sound out the disc in a plastic sleeve as well for you. Three albums available at the moment. We are going to be working on some more later this year. Uh, possibly something we're going to be working on classic monster hammer horror lines. Uh, but more about that in the future. I mentioned writing as well and I'm pleased to say that uh, a couple of months back I released my first paperback that's called Remnants, that's Tales of Fenland Horrors and Hauntings. So that's 13 stories all set in the Fenlands area of East Anglia, uh, where I lived for a, a few years. And really that's an homage to M.R. James and Lovecraft. So the stories are either Jamesian ghost stories or Lovecraftian. And there's a, a, a long sort of novelette story at the back, which is my modern take on the Dunwich Horror. That's called The Dunwich Nightmare, and that's set in the real Dunwich out on the East Coast just by the Sizewell nuclear power plant. So that's also available from our site and also Amazon as well. As well as books and music, we do some t-shirt designs. That's something we're going to expand in the future. Uh, once again, I'll put the link to those in the show notes below. So partly the aim of the podcast is to keep you in touch with what we're doing here at Innsmouth Gold, but also I want to take some time to review some books, films, music, pretty much anything that I like in the weird fiction, horror, science fiction vein. 
So what we're going to be doing next time is looking at two graphic novels. One, The King in Yellow, and also one which I actually just got the other week. Uh, M.R. James, The Ghost Stories of an Antiquary, and that is uh, Volume 1. I think Volume 2 is due to be released soon. So we'll be looking at those two next time. If you have any thoughts or ideas or comments, then please don't hesitate to get in touch. If you have anything that you'd like us to review, then again, please just let us know. If you like what we're doing here, then please share and remember to click the subscribe button below. I just want to shout out to a few podcasts as well that I found entertaining and informative over the last few years. Uh, the big one, of course, is the HP Lovecraft Literary Podcast, which is up to, I think, episode 360, something like that now. They're just covering the time machine. That's a great podcast, well worth catching up on and listening to. There's the Podcast of the Curious, which focuses on M.R. James. There's the Chromecast, which is Robert E. Howard related. And on YouTube video, there's Pulp Crazy, which is Jason Aiken reviewing lots of stuff as well. That's another great listen. There's a Clark Ashton Smith podcast too, The Double Shadow. They've not put out anything new for a while, so I'm not sure of the status of that, but all the old episodes are still available online. And that's another great listen too. So that's it for now. I hope you like the sound of what we're doing. If you do, please share, please subscribe and keep an eye out for our next episode, which will be out fairly shortly. Uh, I'm gonna leave you with a track from Samaria, our Robert E. Howard album, and it's the title track, the poem Samaria, read by a great voiceover artist called John Prasinski. Hope you enjoy it, see you next time. Samaria by Robert E. Howard. I remember the dark woods masking slopes of somber hills. The gray clouds led an everlasting arch the dusky streams that flowed without a sound, and the lone winds that whispered down the passes. Vista upon vista, marching hills on hills, slope beyond slope, each dark with sullen trees, our gaunt land lay. So when a man climbed up a rugged peak and gazed, his shaded eyes saw but the endless vista. Hill on hill, slope beyond slope, each hooded like its brother. It was a gloomy land that seemed to hold all winds and clouds and dreams that shun the sun, with bare boughs rattling in the lonesome winds and the dark woodlands brooding over all, not even lightened by the rare dim sun which made squat shadows out of men. They called it Cimmeria, land of darkness and deep night. It was so long ago and far away, I have forgotten the very name men called me. The axe and flint-tipped spear are like a dream, and hunts and wars are like shadows. I recall only the stillness of that somber land, the clouds that piled forever on the hills, the dimness of the everlasting woods. Siberia, land of darkness and the night. O oh, soul of mine born out of shadowed hills, to clouds and winds and ghosts that shun the sun, how many deaths shall serve to break at last this heritage which wraps me in the gray apparel of ghosts? I search my heart and find 
Siberia, land of darkness and the night. <laughs> 